Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Our What's for Dinner videos come out every single Tuesday. And in my household, it's me, my husband, and our 10-month-old baby. So we are kicking off another week of What's for Dinner by using up some stuff in our freezer. So we had some ribeye in our freezer, and so my husband grilled that up. And we are having baked potatoes that I made in the air fryer. So all I do to make my potatoes in the air fryer is to use a little, well I clean them and then I put um, oil on them. And then I just sprinkle, as you can see, some sea salt on them. And then I bake them in the air fryer at 400 for about an hour. And they always turn out perfectly. This is Howard's plate and he just has some butter and sour cream on his potato. And here are the green beans that we are having. I bought these from Aldi, I guess it's been a couple of months ago. I bought two of these steakhouse green beans, and then I bought two, um, I think it's Kung Pao broccoli. And I didn't realize when I bought them that they were steamer bags. So the first bag of broccoli, I did prepare it in the microwave and it was too mushy. So I decided for the rest of these vegetables, I was going to stir fry them on the stove. And so that is what I did with the green beans. The only thing that I added to these green beans was a little bit of oil in the pan to saute them and then a little bit of garlic salt. The color actually does come from the seasoning um, that was on the green beans. So I didn't add anything to add any color and they do have a good flavor, not very salty. So you may need to doctor them up a little bit like I did. And then here is my plate. Of course, I'm having the same thing, except I added salt and pepper to my potato um, in addition to the butter and the sour cream. So this is what we are having for dinner today and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having this taco kit that I picked up from Aldi on my last shopping trip there. I believe it was $6.99. And I just wanted to show you what comes in the little kit. It comes with the chicken, six tortillas, Monterey Jack and Cheddar, and Salsa Verde. And here it is, I open it up so you can see it. So here's a pretty decent size of the Salsa Verde. And actually this is a really good amount of chicken. And you get your six tortillas here and your cheese. And the instructions are to heat up this um, meat in a skillet um, with a little bit of oil. And then once the chicken is done, you are supposed to heat up your corn tortillas uh, one or two at a time in the skillet as well. So I will um, get the tacos ready and then I will show you our plates. So here are our plates. This is Howard's plate, as you probably guessed, from the avocado and sour cream. But he has his uh, tortillas to the side. He's gonna build his tortillas, I mean his tacos as he goes. I also made some Mexican rice, and this is homemade Mexican rice. I filmed a video on this rice probably about a year and a half or so ago, and it is so quick and easy. The video is less than three minutes and I never buy boxed Mexican rice anymore. I always use this recipe, so I'll make sure to link it in the description box so you can check it out. And all you use is chicken broth and salsa. I mean, it is that good and it is so easy. And then I also made some um, beans and the beans, here's the can. The beans are these charo, be charo beans from H-E-B, which is a grocery store here in Texas. They're spicy, and here they are. And then this is my plate. I like all my stuff separated, so I've got my beans and my rice, and then I've got two tacos right here. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having some frozen pizza. I picked up this pizza from Sam's a few months ago and it has been in our outdoor freezer ever since. So you get um, three pizzas from Uno Pizzeria um, in the package and we got the Supreme, which has onions, green peppers, mushrooms, ground beef, pepperoni, sausage, mozzarella, Romano cheese, and a thin crust. First of all, I will say that this pizza is very, very small. Um, it's really a pizza that I probably should have made for lunch and not for dinner because we are probably gonna be hungry after this. So I split the pizza for us and we both tried it and we just said it's okay. Nothing special, 
I probably would not repurchase this again. You do cook it directly on the oven rack for um, 25 to 30 minutes. I cooked this for 27 minutes and you know, it's okay. It's nothing special. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am using up some odds and ends that I had in my pantry and freezer. So from my pantry, I had less than a half a bag of tortilla chips, and I also had a box of taco shells with just two shells in there. Now I had shared on my channel a while back ago that when your tortilla chips or taco shells get a little stale, you can put them on a baking sheet and bake them for about five minutes or so. Just watch them, make sure they don't get overly brown. So that's what I did. So I've got these and I'm just gonna break up my taco shells. Um, I also had some chicken in my freezer. Whenever I find chicken on sale, I like to uh, break it down into pieces and freeze it into two to four um, cup sizes uh, or portions, I should say, um, of chicken. So that's what I have here. I took this from my freezer. In my freezer, I also had some random bags of cheeses, cheeses that I had used everything from Monterey Jack to cheddar cheese. So I had in some cases like a half a bag, a quarter of a bag. I just consolidated them all and put them in here. I have some sour cream that I'm gonna be using, some salsa verde that I'm going to be using, and then also some cream of jalapeno soup. Um, and I also forgot to mention Harrison is in here having his little snack, so you may hear him from time to time. But um, getting back to the jalapeno soup, I know not everyone has access to this. I live in Texas and there is a grocery store here called HEB and they sell it. I have never seen Campbell's um, with jalapeno soup. So if you don't have jalapeno soup, that's okay. You can use cream of chicken as well. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is to pour in my soup. and my salsa verde. This is a 16 ounce jar, and I don't have an official recipe for this. This is something that I have done before in the past, and it's just a quick and easy way to use up stuff. So I've got my jar of salsa in there, and then I'm going to add about a cup of sour cream. and gonna give it a good stir. And there you go. And it's okay if your sour cream hasn't broken down all the way, it will cook out in the oven. So I have an 11 by eight pan here that I um, did grease a little bit. And all I'm gonna do is layer half of the tortilla chips, breaking them slightly. You don't want them all crumbly. Um, some of them are already crumbs because like I said, it was less than a half a bag of chips, but you're just gonna put them in the bottom of your casserole dish. Just like this. And then I'm just going to layer half of my chicken and half of my green chili sauce and then half of the cheese. And then I'm gonna repeat the layers. All right guys, so I have everything in the casserole dish and I am going to pop this in the oven for about 40 minutes or so or until the cheese is nice and melty and I do have my oven set to 350 degrees. So I just took the casserole out of the oven. I let it bake for about 40 minutes. So I'm going to let it cool because you can still see it bubbling all over the place. I'm gonna let it cool for a few minutes and then once I get everything plated up, I'll show you what it looks like. So here is the casserole all plated up and we are having the leftover Mexican rice from the taco dinner. And then I just made some frozen corn and it is the super sweet variety from Sam's Club. You get six 12 ounce pouches uh, that you can microwave, but I did not microwave mine. I did cook mine on top of the stove. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. 
Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are basically having an entire meal from Aldi. So I made these um, beef dumplings, the mandu that they, I think it was one of their specials, maybe six weeks or so ago, I can't remember exactly, but made them tonight and they are really good. Howard and I sampled them and they taste just like the ones that you get from Costco. The bulgogi mandu from Costco tastes just like that. And then I just made some mushroom fried rice. And you remember a couple of weeks ago, I was complaining about this um, fried rice seasoning mix that I had in my pantry. I had, this is Kikkoman. Let me show you, this is Kikkoman. But I had a bunch of them from other brands because I wanted to try them out. So I finally went through all of them and then guess what? I went and bought some more Kikkoman. And I really do like this fried rice seasoning. And then we are also having beef lo mein from Aldi as well. So I had another one, or I made another one of these, I should say, uh, I don't know, maybe a month or so ago. And um, Howard and I weren't crazy about it, um, but I just wanted to use it, get it out of the freezer, trying to use up what we have. So here it is. That is the beef lo mein. And I probably should have made a green vegetable because this looks very bland, like some broccoli or something. I just did not feel like it tonight. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time.